Yeah, Ross is, uh, you know, Dino Bosco, one of our favorites on the show, right? Mm-hmm. Fan well, favorite. So we went to go see P. Lander Z, which I mentioned before, a Japanese punk band. They dress up like Power Rangers. They have a great live show. They interact with the crowd directly. And I forgot to tell you one thing earlier about why what made it funnier. So the first thing that happened, I don't even know what the first thing was that I mentioned about him going to this fucking... I didn't even mention what he did at this show, right? No, well, no, no. So for our listeners, yeah, yeah. No, in general, no. It, what happened is first, um, one of one of my brother's friends, he couldn't stop asking him if he's gay because he was suspicious of him. So he kept doing that the whole night. Wait, but, Ross kept asking him. Yeah, Ross kept asking, him, <laughs> dude. What? Just, just fucking tell me. Just tell me now. Just tell me the whole fucking night. So then he gets drunk more, and then he choke slams somebody outside. Because he thought he was like trying to take his cigarettes, and then um, one of the so okay. so Pilander Z is Japanese. Yeah. So they had like some of their like tour management come with, and they couldn't speak good English. So Ross, because you know we all know he has because <laughs> he because gr- he knows Kenji, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is well, and, and he definitely doesn't have a speech impediment in English. He's trying to teach this Japanese for how to speak English. <laughs> oh, this I would pay money to see this. Oh my no, god. No, this is what you do in Chicago. This is what you, everybody and, and, and you know he does this where where he starts trying to I every time he tries to do the Jersey Italian accent, he sounds like he's doing ebonics to me, but he keeps saying, you know, yeah, you know I'm Italian cuz I do this and, and I'm like, "No, I I don't see it, man." I don't see it, dude. And then, so he's trying to tell this Korean person. And then, you know how he ended it? He goes, "Yeah, this is how we do shit in America." And he goes to light his cigarette. And I'm watching, and I'm like, "All right, let's see how long this fucking goes." He smoked half his filter because he put it in the back. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Oh, <laughs> so, oh, that's so bad. That, that I've done exam- that before. That, that I was definitely a great smoked example. a filter on accident. Oh, so, so that that was a great you know tourist experience for how we do shit in America. You know, smoke your fucking cigarettes backwards. <laughs> God, I hope they still talk about that. I right? mean, they, they he had to have been a memorable experience <laughs> right? for them. Oh, my God. I, I don't remember what... I, I think that was yeah, the other concert story that I remember about him. God. So, Sandry got to meet him I last did. Weekend. I got to meet him. Uh, he didn't challenge me to a fist fight in the brewery, but oh. Bill walked into a wall, sure and did. I got blamed for it. <laughs> was uh, he supposed to challenge you to a fist fight? Um, he's been talking shit. Yeah. So, so apparently... The first time I learned any Ross stories was on the podcast, and I I made some sort of off color comment about him. I yeah. guess I don't remember exactly. I was he was mad that, drunk, that you were laughing about the. W- so we saw, like, long story short, we saw Jello in the Guantanamo yeah. School, and I wanted I wanted to meet him, so we were front row, and Jello, you know, he talks like with his lisp, and he's very sarcastic. He was like, so, and this was before Trump was president. He's just like, so you know. <laughs> Why don't we just build the wall to get rid of the Mexicans, right? That's the best option. And he's being sarcastic. Well, Ross is a little special little darling. So he <laughs> goes, yeah, <laughs> fuck the Mexicans. He just screams it. I'm like, you motherfucker. How am I going to meet this guy now? Because <laughs> everybody, he, he looked right at me. And I'm just like, I'm not with this guy. <laughs> That's That <laughs> sounds exactly like you walking into a fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> So 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 yeah, and, and so I was telling the story, and yeah, you found it really funny. And then we also were talking about how he di- he didn't want to okay, he didn't want to go to Slayer. I know because he's very dedicated to working at Jewel. Oh, he's a poser. Yeah, so he called us posers, and we were calling him posers the whole episode. And I think he got, that's what he got mad at. Sure. So we so he I said, mean I definitely did talk a little shit. So sure. <laughs> like so there's but, bad bad yeah, blood. Yeah, there's here. bad blood. So uh, he said he was going to fight Zach. He, he called me an asshole ass. on one of them, I think. And then the last, well, two, episode 11, a lot, a lot of talk about my tight butthole. And I don't understand <laughs> where, yeah, about that was, uh, yeah. where that came <laughs> from. But no, it's really nice, very cordial. When I met him, I shook his hand. No uh, no threats of violence. Yeah. It was weird. I expected not that to happen. Yeah. but well, it, In my experience, whenever someone makes threats like that, and then you actually see them in person, they never go through with it. You're talking I know, about but Z- I was... Zach Carter. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so I walked into a wall, they cut us <laughs> off, and... All right, let me let me tell it from my perspective sure. here. 
uh, quick shout out to our good friend Eric Roos who can go fuck himself for this. <laughs> so <laughs> man, you're just starting all sorts of fights. <laughs> I hope he listens. He's going to be nice the next time he sees you. <laughs> yeah, yeah this will definitely <laughs> that'll, this will do it. Tell him, to, tell him to go fuck himself. That, uh, that'll right. help. So special shout out to our beloved friend, Eric. Okay. So we're walking back in from a cigarette. We're walking across this brewery tap house floor. I, oh, I'm wearing the hat, aren't I? Were you wearing Or This is the hat. This is the hat of the brewery. Yeah, oh, on yeah. tour. Yeah. yeah so we were at on tour. On tour. Great place over in West Town. It's that's right. amazing. Mm-hmm. Um. We're walking through this tap house, and there's like a cordoned off section for like private events that has these like glass, like window wall yeah. sort of deals. And they're on the right side in the hallway that we're going to to go from outside to the bathroom. There's a ton of people there, very crowded in this little section because there was a private event going on, and then it was just packed because it was what, a Friday? Was uh, it Friday? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a Friday. Um, I'm trying to direct him through. These people ish, and just to add to that, it's now probably around eight thirty nine p.m. and I'd been drinking there since two p.m. I wasn't sober either, <laughs> <laughs> but but I keep yelling at him left, left because he's walking straight towards this fucking wall, and I and he's not either not hearing me or not listening. I'm a bad boy. I play by my own rules. And then he walked into the fucking wall, but <laughs> which would have been all right, except for the fact that Eric immediately blames me vocally and publicly going zach what did you do (laughs) and all of these people look the fuck at me and go you just let a blind man into a wall you piece of shit then we got cut off (laughs) did he tell you that he was fucking with you when he said that or no he just it was no i did what are you doing i don't know whether he was serious or not (laughs) but but regardless everyone there thought he was serious yeah including ross yeah, who did who did try and help? Yeah, Ross snapped right into action. You know, I don't like to hear that Ross isn't going to live up to his, you know, statements because he was supposed to fuck that girl that he met at the hardcore show on the podcast the next episode. Oh, is that was that part of it? Yeah, yeah. yeah were yeah, we going to try and network? Like, yeah, we. Were, I was actually. I was going to. I hope Ross doesn't hear this. I was going <laughs> to talk to her because he's kind of shy. I was going to be like, Yo, Ross definitely wants to fuck you on this podcast for some reason. And then we were just going to have a serious conversation, pretending it's not happening. So. Oh, <laughs> like talking like while it's going on? Yeah, yeah. That'd that, be interesting. Why I like is that. my glass bouncing all over the place? I'm going to put it over here. Yeah. Right. We'll have to talk louder. Right? Uh, edgy, edgy. I like it. That'll be like a special feature for our loyal listeners. It'll be a bonus episode. I mean, I, I like that there's a, there's a blur... Uh, like plug-in on YouTube that you can use. So if, you know, if we, you know, it's considered porn... We got that taken care of. Nice. That's perfect. Right? Man, that... Whew, I think our show would really take off. Yeah. If we, right. like, incorporated sex. Right. Like, not even just, like, Ross. Hey, man. Sex sells. That, exactly right. I like the new marketing direction we're taking. Let's move towards that. We're going to have a shitload of... I mean, th- that might be... Like you said, the marketing direction. We're going to have a shitload of virgins. That's right. Who don't end up living up to their fights wanting to fuck <laughs> people on our show. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's the exact demographic we're going for. That perfect. Good. Uh.